this is a 1935 uh, D18 Martin, and uh, it's a serial number 60637. Uh, and this was a kind of a transition period. Uh, 34 was the first dreadnought uh, body size. This is a 35, um, and it, I think 1935 was the first year that uh, they put uh, the dreadnought guitar in the catalog. This one's kind of kind of neat because it's got a uh, uh, the stamp is on the back of the peg head, uh, and that they did that uh, I think uh, beginning and the middle, and then sometime after the middle of. Uh, 1935 they didn't put the some of the 35s don't have the stamp but this one's got the stamp on the back as well as the decal on the front um, 1935 this guitar uh, would have cost you uh, sixty dollars and uh, the case was about half of that <laughs> in 1935 so the case was uh, worth a lot I've got the original case at home Two really good friends, uh, Jeff Spencer and Troy Spencer, uh, showed this guitar to me at a festival, and they just uh, bought the guitar. They would run these ads. Uh, Jeff was a Jeff was a dealer, um, and he, they would buy like original uh, owned instruments, and they bought this off the original owner in Colorado, and they would they would run these advertisements in these senior magazines um, that they bought original in instruments, uh, old vintage instruments from the original owners. And uh, this guy called up and uh, uh, answered the ad and said he had this guitar. And from the story that I had from Jeff, uh, there were three brothers um, and the two brothers was uh, had went to World War II um, and they um, they didn't come back. Um, they they got they got killed and then the other brother that was home he ended up with a guitar and so they they bought the uh, guitar 1995 they showed it to me and uh, at the uh, you know at the time I was uh, uh, wasn't looking for a guitar and uh, I was actually saving up um, for a ring to buy uh, Amanda my wife and so. Uh, it, it was one of those things where uh, the guitar, uh, it was really a special guitar and I never played a guitar that was this good uh, up until that point. I had, had some good guitars but not, not one like this. So uh, Jeff uh, told me, he said, hey, try it out. And I was like, man, I can't, I can't afford this. He goes, yeah, just try it out for two weeks and said, if you don't like it or if you don't want to buy it, then we will... Uh, get it from you from the uh, festival and, and that there was going to be it. And I thought, well, that, that's cool. So I thought, well, this might be the only time I get to play a pre-war D18. So I ended up um, going, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. The next day, um, we played down at the uh, Fairview, Ohio, which was right close to Amanda at, at, uh, at work where she lived and so her and her dad uh, come to the show and uh, Sammy and Ronnie and Lonesome River Band were all talking about hey this check this old guitar that Kenny's playing and I so he's thinking about buying it and uh, of course Amanda knew that I was saving up for an engagement ring and so at, at the when we went to the first break uh, we played our first set uh, Amanda came up and said man that's a that is a really uh, cool guitar, and it said it sounds so good. It said, "Why don't you go ahead and try to get it, and then we can get an engagement ring anytime." And so uh, I thought, "Wow, um, I've got to marry her now." And so <laughs> I ended up ended up uh, telling uh, Jeff, "I said, man, I want it if I can get it." I'll, and I, I did. I had like two or three guitars that I sold. And then traded Jeff one of my the one that I was playing, which was a 1945 D18 and uh, or 46 1946 D18. And so um, I traded that, and then Jeff let me pay the guitar off. I think it was like he gave me a year or a year and a half to pay the 
pay the rest of it off. And at time, at that time in 1995, I I didn't even hadn't even owned a new vehicle, and it was more than a new vehicle at that time. So it was really, I, I really struggled with um, you know paying that much for a guitar. But I was talking to Sammy Sheeler, and Sammy said that um, Sonny Osborne told him when he bought his old banjo, he said, you know, Sammy, you're not. Um, you're not buying an old banjo or an instrument, you're buying your sound. And so when Sammy told me that, that's what, that's pretty much what sealed the deal. I was like, yeah, you're right. You know, I'm not, I'm not just buying a guitar and buying my sound. So it's a, it's a, just saying how good a guitar it is. It's a lot, lot better guitar than I am a 